In a Twinmotion, if you want to import your own landscape, it's very easy. First, um, you can delete a starting landscape and a starting ground, and we don't have anything. Then you can go to the import, import, and we want to import landscape from here. Click on a landscape and open. And here we have all files. You can import point cloud, you can import meshes, exactly direct mesh from your 3040 OBJ fix or SketchUp file, or height maps. Very interesting. From the Gaia or Word Creator, you can export the height map, black and white code. <clears throat> and then you can insert your uh, height map. Okay, uh, let's find our height map from here. This is our height map. As you can see, it's black and white code. And the white area, the whitest area going up, it's the height. And the valley is the <clears throat> dark part. It's the it's a lowest area of the mountain. You can open it. And here you can uh, import the largest area, for example, 8,000 or 5,000, I can, it's nice. You can <clears throat> choose the area and the amplitude, the highest part. Mm, the highest part, it's too high. Yeah, five is nice. And you can take smoothing or if you want, you can, if you want to, uh, bring all the polygons you can okay i want to this um, bump from the highest to the lower part make it smooth it's automatically you can do it import <clears throat> and let's see what happened interesting now you can see this is our height map that is automatically insert and it is very huge you can uh, lower the number of the dimension and you can re-import it again. Uh, you can re-import, oh no, not re-import, delete and import it again with a lower number of the dimensions. And click on these three dots and you can uh, re-import with a new file. You, or you can delete it it's better delete it from here also you can change intensity of the height map also here now we can see or a diameter of that but it's better to and you can also i will be explaining all of them you can paint on your landscape I prefer to delete it and import it again. Landscape, height map, open. In this case, uh, going to lower the number. Not a smooth thing in this case. It, it, it was very smooth. I don't like that. Yeah, let's try this. <clears throat> mm, you can see. You have to find the uh, relative between the heights and the dimension because I choose a lower number of dimension. It gives me a higher altitude here. It's automatically created rocks at the uh, these parts, wall parts, and at the top parts and these valley parts. It's created grass for us. Okay. Uh, sorry, this diameter and intensity, it's for... Um, uh, sculpting the landscape. That's what we we'll explaining in, in separate lesson. So... That's it. You can import your own landscape here, or you can delete it again. And let's try. Uh, 
another mm, or this for example this altitude with uh, yeah I think this is better <clears throat> F to focus and now we can see it's very it's not very good in this case because it was no not from this part did it again so if you have to find the best diameter and the best height map quality for you i think in this height map we have better and nice okay you can change your speed to fly you can go on your landscape let's see how big is this for understanding that <clears throat> you can open the material and a vegetation in a tree let's try for example this tree now you can see it's really big because we have very far from that you can see something like that but if you focus on the tree it's, ooh, focus on the tree be careful about you can use the number one two three four five to six to change the speed but i think bicycle in this case is for me it's good and now you can see this is our landscape nice and then you can click on your landscape and sculpt okay 